Hey guys, my name is not David. Before I start the video, I'd appreciate if everybody would like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm almost 400 subscribers. I would very much appreciate to get 400 subscribers before that. Let's get into the video. Here's what I ate today as a fat person who isn't trying to diet or lose weight. So as a fat person that's not trying to diet or lose weight, I don't know why people are so stuck on the diet. You don't have to diet. You don't have to restrict yourselves from eating some foods. Uh, the real big problem is the quantity and the quality of food. That's really it. You, uh, all these people that think they're going to cut out a particular food and think suddenly they're going to, you know, magically lose weight. I guess that's true on some cases. Like if you're drinking four or five things of soda a day, cans of soda a day, that's going to obviously affect your, the amount of food, you know, the amount of calories that you're putting down. But, um, uh, you don't have to diet. Just, you know, eat smarter. Really. You can lose weight if you just eat fried chicken as long as it's, it's in a deficit. Yes. For breakfast, I had scrambled eggs with hot sauce, of course, uh, some pancakes with Nutella. Okay, so, you know, the eggs are like, what, the eggs are like 90, 90 calories each. A woman should need uh, about 2,000 calories a day. She seems to be a little bit big boned, big bellied. So she, maybe she needs a little bit more, but <clears throat> no, she needs about 2,000, right? 90 calories and then the, the Nutella with the pancakes i don't know this this probably looks like it's 300 calories at most 300 maybe 400 calories at most and iced coffee oh iced coffee well, we don't have much iced coffee <laughs> the second iced coffee during my target run yeah, yeah, because coffee is life and then for lunch i had leftovers from yesterday's easter so uh, i had a vegan loaf um some mac and cheese um beet salad um some honey mustard green beans and scallops you know, uh, is this a good lunch? Yeah, it's a good lunch, dude. I mean, I don't know how much calorie this calories this is, but it's probably around 500. Probably, maybe a little bit less, maybe 400. It was, it was really, really good. And then for lunch, I had, or oh. sorry, dinner. I had um, the leftover pierogi and... Maybe that was a little bit of a Freudian slip, right? Maybe that was her pre-lunch, the one we just saw before this one. And this is the lunch. <laughs> Uh, cabbage salad and vegetable salad that I had on Saturday night and dessert I had this gingerbread cake with apple butter okay. filling oh my god it was amazing and an apricot pierogi this is a PSA that's it that's it that's it that's all you eat in a day no she's lying dude she forgot to mention the 14 sodas she forgot to mention the other dessert that she had after all those other meals there's no way that you get to 300 plus and you're eating like that every single day. No, dude, that's that's deficit eating at that point. So she's lying and she's trying to put on an illusion to try to make it seem like, oh, I just it's just in my genetics to be fat. No, it, that's not how that works, young lady. OK, you have to overeat to be the size that you're at. You're not special. Sick of people thinking they're special. Hey, for the skinnies. For the skinny bitches. Bitches. Whoa. If when you're shop hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that above her above her lips right there? You know, big voluptuous lips are very in style right now. Also, the straight the straighted eyebrows are not very fashionable for women. I've I've learned this now from a guy that does plastic surgery. Straight eyebrows are very masculine. She already doesn't have a lot of them. She has a big gap between the eyebrows that she does have. But here's the thing: there's only one rule about eyebrows, and that's to have two of them. I think she's overdoing it, though. Her haircut is terrible. I don't know who decided that was her haircut. Terrible. Big, giant, stretched ears. Smell like cheese. I know. I've, I've, I've dealt with people that have stretched ears. Uh, smell like cheese constantly. Anyway, let's go back a little bit. Bitches. Skinny bitches. If when you're shopping, you take your size small and medium and go put it in the plus size to hide it and save it for yourself for later... You can fuck all the way off. Like, honestly, it's so freaking rude. I don't think you guys have no idea, like, how... I don't think you guys have no idea. <laughs> I'm not. All right, look, I understand what she's saying. So let's not harp on that. Like, honestly, it's so freaking rude. I don't think you guys have no idea, like, how slim pickings we already have as, like, fat and plus-sized people. So lose weight. So lose weight. So lose weight. 
So if you're not getting the quality and con quantity of clothing items that you so desire at the weight that you're at, lose weight. It would probably help you out too, right? Being fat, being double bellied, being big bellied. That's obviously not good for your health, right? And guess what else? You could actually buy clothes. Uh, it's not practical to have a lot of fat clothing, even though, you know, nowadays it's becoming more and more practical because people are becoming more and more big bellied by the day, uh, especially women, especially women. I don't know what's up with you girls trying to gain all this weight. All of a sudden you weigh more than a guy. That's a problem. That's a problem, dude. That's a problem. Uh, so there's not going to be much clothing items for you just because there's not many of you guys. Uh, but that's changing, right? It was, you know, 20 years ago, wasn't that many. And then now it's not still not that many, but it's a lot more. Mostly All we can pick is shitty, ugly animal print and floral patterns. That's the shit we have to pick so from. Wait. So when you put a really cute item and we're like so stoked about it, you pull the freaking item out and then you realize, oh, this is a XS. You have no idea how defeating that is. So please, on behalf of all the fat bitches who want to wear cute shit but can't, don't put your shit there. Well, if you know that it's cute and then you already just said that you can't wear things that are cute because they don't make things that are cute for fat people, shouldn't that already be, you should already be discriminated against that because it's like, oh, well, that's obviously not my size because it's cute. Why can't you just lose weight? Isn't that the solution to your problem? Is it hard to lose weight? Maybe, but I've known many people to do it and they were bigger than you. You know, it's all about the calorie deficit. Do it slowly but surely. It's okay to lose two pounds a week. It's all right. Three pounds a week. It's fine. You're doing it, dude. You're going to lose more when you start and the longer it takes. How do you get a fat girl to sleep with you? Hey, buddy. Designated fat girl here. Hold on, How do you wait, get wait, a wait. fat girl to sleep with you? How do you get a fat girl to sleep with you? Fat girls, for some reason, have <clears throat> outrageous standards nowadays. I don't understand it. For some reason, every fat girl thinks they're a 10, and most girls think they're a 10s. If you're fat, you're a 4 default because that means that you are you 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 don't have a, a body type. You're you're fat. You've destroyed your already body type. You're no longer average because now you're in the negative because you destroyed your body, and you look like every other fat person. So being fat makes you at least a four, and you're probably lower than that. Hey buddy, designated fat girl oh, here. Flame, dude. Just want to let you know there's probably not enough cake in the world to get any one of us to sleep with you. What? Enough cake in the world to get any one of us to sleep with you. Dude, you have like three chins. I can't even see your neck. Look how wide she is, but she's not actually wide because her shoulders are so close to her head because she's a woman, right? The 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 shoulder to hip ratio is usually smaller <clears throat> on women usually because they want to have big birthing hips. She has small shoulders and it, her arms are just inflating out like wings. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, dude, come on now. Come on now. And no, why would anybody want to have sex with a fat girl? I've done it. It's hard. It's disrespectful too. Also, I can't find it. Where is it? Can you help me? No, I can't. You know, how am I going to lift this up and then also try to slide this in? It doesn't work. There's too much effort going on. You can only have sex in one position anyway. And if you do try to have sex in other positions, dude, that's going to take way too long. You're going to have more time trying to get into the positions than actually having sex with a fat girl. It's not practical. Thin people post stuff like this and then, and then glare at fat people in public. Dude, look how, bro, look how big she is. Oh my God. She has no eyebrows. What's up with that? No eyebrows, giant bloated face, fully inflated. How's your Texas shaped waffle, my love? That's delicious. How much chocolate's on your face? None. None. I'm a lady. Yeah, ladies don't have chocolate on them. I'm not gonna comment on this. Let's go. Let's keep oh. going. I'm not. I'm not. There's no chocolate. I covered my, my. I covered my Texas waffle with vegetables. Fatness changes every. Look. It's okay. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. But why do you guys feel the need to put sugar and everything all over your, your foods to make foods that are normally only like 100 calories at most? Tripling it. Tripling it. Why do you need chocolate syrup <laughs> on your waffles? 
right? Why do you need that? You could put some syrup on it. There's some, you know, low calorie syrup that's like almost nothing. And you can just glaze it over there, dude, and eat it up. Tastes good, dude. You don't need chocolate. Everything. Hold on. I'm not, there's no chocolate. I covered my, chocolate I covered my about. Texas waffle with vegetables. Fatness changes everything. So I'm currently reading what we don't talk about when we talk about fat by Aubrey Gordon. And I'm thinking about the moment I realized that fatness was a marginalized identity. What? I grew up as a fat person, and I also grew up as an intersectional feminist, but I- That's terrible. If you grew up as a fat person, that's not your fault. That means your parents are terrible people, and they overfed you. Because uh, they're the ones that are solely responsible for you growing up. They're terrible parenting. Off the bat, intersectional feminist, also a red flag. That's terrible. Let's not get into that one. And I'm thinking about the moment I realized that fatness was a marginalized identity. I grew up as a fat person, and I also grew up as an intersectional feminist, but I never included fatness in my analysis because I didn't think it was a marginalized identity. I truly didn't think that fatness played a role in the systemic inequalities I faced. But it wasn't until I occupied a larger body that I realized that anti-fatness and anti-blackness shaped the way I navigate through spaces. Like the fact that it took me six years to find out that I have PCOS. Or the fact that I'm applying for jobs right now, and I'm being passed over for jobs I'm overqualified for. And when I go out to dinner with my th Okay, so being passed up for jobs that you're overqualified for, I've said this before in other videos, but the minimum wage uh, almost kind of forces people and forces people to discriminate against blacks and other minorities and other people like that. Because if you can, if you have to hire somebody um, and you're racist or you're sexist and everybody is going to get paid equally, regardless of whatever their skill level is, then that means you can discriminate based off of race or sex. Because it doesn't matter. Everybody's going to get paid the same regardless. Now, if people were able to go into the workforce with no minimum wage, meaning like you go in with however how much you think you're worth or how much you're actually worth being paid wise, then you can compete. Then you can compete and then you can work your way up. But that doesn't work. So the minimum wage there. I don't know what she's saying, though, by being systemically oppressed by being a fat person. I've heard it on the black end. I've never heard it on the on, on the. The fat end, I guess there's a little bit more of a case um, being systemically oppressed if you're fat because things are usually made for people that are thin. Therefore, you know, society in general is going to be more accommodating for thin people. But that's just how it's always been, though. So it's like you're complaining about how the world is at that point. And friends, I have to think about if the seating is going to be accessible to me. These are things most people don't just have lose to think weight. about, but it is a lived reality for fat people. Fat they make their own problems. They make their own problems. Dude, you weigh 400 pounds, you're going to have problems regardless of whether or not you go into an establishment that doesn't have a chair that fits you, dude. What about your blood, what about your blood pressure, right? What about the diabetes? What about all these other health, health conditions? Is it, is it really, why does it have to do with everybody else? You're going to have problems regardless, dude. You can't be fat and healthy. It's those two, those two things are not synonymous. This person is blaming everything on everyone else but themselves. She created her own problem. She's an adult. She has the ability to lose weight, lose weight, and then get cute kilos like the other girl and also be able to fit in chairs and not be concerned whether or not they're going to break. This is a marginalized identity because it reshapes the way you navigate through spaces in a world that seeks to eradicate you. And when I understood that, I was able to make sense of a lot of things in my life. So yes. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? You're plus size, non-binary, and me. mentally ill. Oh, Talk shit. Um, hello? Are you there? Are you watching? It is me, your host, Yiddies. And welcome to episode 34, Fats or okay. Cap. What? So they want a plus size, non-binary, mentally ill motherfucker. So you know you what that means. No, she's not a man. We gotta go through their following list and... How do you have more I'm, how do you have more booty in the front than you do in the back? And I'm not talking about the chest the chest butt, right? I'm not talking about the chest butt, I'm talking about the the gunt, the 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 over bloop. She's got more in the front than she does in the back. I wasn't expecting to be disappointed. Um they proved that that's what they want. Um What are you talking about? So y'all better go check them out. Okay. If you are interested in what? And let them know. Yeah. That you're about it. Okay? So, you mean uh, about what? Today, they are not capping and it's straight facts. 
so. What are you talking about? What are you? What is he? Do what you want with that information? Look, and hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. They are not wait, 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 wait. Facts. So. Do what you want with that. Listen. Listen to me. Fat girls don't have big boobs. You have big boobs because you're fat. Those are called fatties. There's a there is a term for it, and that's what it's called. My friend that is fat, my guy friend that is fat, has big boobs as well. Do I give him an award for having big boobs? No. You know why? Because he got that as a consequence of being fat. I'm not impressed. If you have big boobs when you're fat, that is obvious. Now, it would be more impressive if you were not fat. And you, sorry, no. It'd be more impressive if you were fat and you didn't have big boobs. Then that would be an achievement. Anyway, we're going to end it here, guys, because we're going on for way too long. But uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Uh, I appreciate everybody that watches the video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.